uh, on the forecast, the quarterly forecast, we go down to 4.1 and 4% in Q3 and Q4. Of course, there's noise in these numbers because of base effect, etc. But I want a sense of the RBI's perception of consumption and the strength in consumption in particular. Uh, you know, employment situation going by Manrega numbers doesn't look uh, like it's completely repaired. Incomes may not have been completely repaired. And now this inflation burden could, uh, you know, impinge on disposable spends. Is the RBI's assessment that consumption remains a weak spot particularly, you know, once the pent-up uh, demand of goods and services is over? I think I said that, no, in my statement that uh, private consumption still, you know, trails the pre-pandemic level. So what about Q3, Q4, also we don't see repair uh, sort of coming. That's halfway into the year, we still think that there will be enough no, in odd basis, I don't. I mean, we have said that there's a base effect aspect also, which you have mentioned. But I don't know. Would you something? Would you like to say? It's it's repairing slowly, as you said. Rural demand is weaker than urban. Maybe urban will get back quicker than rural, but it's in a state of repair. And uh, I think it will come back to becoming the mainstay of aggregate demand. It accounts for nearly sixty percent of aggregate demand. That's where it'll get to. But the repair is on the way. But I have also said in my statement, and let me slightly also touch upon that, that rural de demand will get support from, again, a good uh, rabi crop. And we have assumed normal monsoon. Rural demand will get uh, support from that. Urban demand, now that all the restrictions related to COVID have been removed, uh, you know, contact intensive services, the services sector, urban demand also should uh, revive. Mobility has increased in all respects. So there are enough factors to sort of uh, uh, give upward push to both rural and uh, urban demand in the coming months.